In 2018, the Certified Angus Beef brand created a year-long campaign called Brand the Barn to pay homage to its ranching roots while celebrating its first 40 years. Forty barns on Angus farms and ranches from coast to coast were selected from nominations to receive the iconic logo. It's a three-day process, uh, so we arrive on site first day, basically kind of assess the barn, and uh, you know we have photographs and everything kind of ready to go, so I know where, what the sizing is going to be and such. Uh, every barn is different. You got wooden barns, you got metal barns, you got uh, white barns, black barns, red barns. So just kind of getting the process down first, and then uh, we're just working with the ranchers, getting every all the equipment in the right place, making sure it's not raining, which it always rains, seems to be. That's just the luck of the draw. And uh, getting the base painting up there, getting the logo drawn up and painted. Um, yeah, I, like I said, it's, I'll paint it any time of day, any time of night. You've got to get it done and on to the next one. The artists had no prior farm background, but they picked up a lot just from visiting with Angus folks across the country. Then they shared insights with followers on social media. Uh, I've learned weather is always going to be a factor no matter where you go, and every, everywhere you go is going to have some sort of crazy weather. I mean, hurricanes, hail... Earthquakes, um, yeah, I, everywhere is different, uh, but I, I will also say this, every family, no matter the background, no matter what, have been wonderful, hospitable, salt of the earth, good people, no matter the political backgrounds, no matter what, I was like, they've all been wonderful. I, I have never been had such hospi hospitality in all my life. The logos vary in size and are creating plenty of dialogue and buzz, especially for Freeman, who has become a spokesman for CAB in his own right. I've become pretty familiar with it. I don't think I could do all the uh, proponents of what it takes to, to pass certification, but yeah, I mean, I get a lot of questions like, you know, how, how do they do this? What is it? You know, that type of thing. And I can answer the general questions. So. The Brand the Barn campaign finished in Loudonville, Ohio, October 18th, 2018, in the same state and 40 years to the day after the first pound of CAB was sold. This year, Freeman will keep painting for the brand, but he'll turn his attention to projects for licensed partners. I'm Bob Cervera.